Hi, this is Ron, the owner of Mobile Fix Automotive again, and today on our episode of what I found, um, this is not a repair video. This is a video for, uh, I guess it's going to be kind of my Ford owners. I do so much Triton work. Um, this is a uh, 2002 uh, Ford Excursion. I almost said Expedition. It's a Ford Excursion. Uh, 6.8 liter V10 and so it's a gas engine and um, customers own this truck for about three years and I'm gonna shoot this video to show him what I found but also to help you folks at home on your do-it-yourselfers that are trying to locate what's going on um, the name of this video is is intermittent overheat and uh, I'm gonna show you what I found so the backstory on this is customers owned it for nearly three years he bought it knowing it had an intermittent overheat condition. He's had many shops do thousands of dollars worth of work to it, and so far they've never been able to figure it out. Um, I just happened to tell him the last time it was in my shop that because he's already done the thermostat, he's done the fan clutch twice, he's done the heater core, he's you know had the hoses are are new. Um, you know, the short of having a restriction in the block, which is very rare on a, on a Triton engine, I told them, I said, you really should think about having the water pump checked to make sure the impellers are not rusted out um, and the radiator. But in this particular case, this is a plastic radiator on the top. It's a plastic tank top and bottom and it's a aluminum core radiator. And for the amount of money it's gonna cost to pull it, drive it to a specialty shop, have it flow tested, it's cheaper, almost the same price, just to replace the radiator. So I told him, let's just go ahead and replace the radiator. And while the radiator's out, the water pump's sitting right there. Water pump's only uh, four volts and uh, get that knocked out. And um, the water pump that was on it was a different water pump than from the factory. So it had a different impeller blade on it, which would definitely slow coolant down to a point. But let me show you right now to make this a real quick video. For those of you that are fighting intermittent overheating problems where when you're driving on hills or grades especially when towing and you've done everything you can think of doing uh, I'm going to show you the radiator was the problem on this and the radiator that I've got in here right now is a Koyo Rad they're pretty good radiators they're not Ford OEM uh, but the Koyo Rad makes a good radiator uh, for this particular vehicle now the radiator that's right here is not the original Ford radiator. And if you look at it, it's very, very clean. And this is the reason this got overlooked. Cores look really good. There's no dirt, nothing's plugged up in it. Um, everybody kept looking at this radiator and because it had been replaced, they're like, well, it's, it can't be the radiator. It's got a brand new radiator in it. Well, I took a die grinder and I cut the top section of this radiator out. Let me see if I can zoom in here. Give me a second. See the cores? These little slots that you're looking at, okay, those are the cores where the water coolant is supposed to flow from the top of the radiator down to the bottom of the radiator to cool down. They're all plugged. Damn near every one of them. There's only a couple of them. That one right there, you can see a little bit of bypass. That one you can, but every one of these things is just plugged solid. So um, just because your radiator looks new, don't assume that the radiator is actually functioning unless you test it. So uh, for the people that are following me for my Ford videos, um, if you're having intermittent or you know, overheating problems and you've done all the basic stuff, cooling fans, you know, hoses, thermostat, and, and that basic stuff, you might want to, uh, check into your radiator and verify the debris from over the years hasn't plugged it up all right do me a favor make sure to click the like subscribe to my channel i'll do more of these uh, for you triton owners and um, i'll see you on the next video once again my name is ron i'm the owner of mobile fix automotive and i'll see you next time thank you for watching